Doopity 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 doop. Oh, what the? What? What? Well, I mean, I can't really upload them as an app. What? 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 Oh, 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 God! There's so many! God! I gotta run away! Frick! God, jump off! <laughs> well, well, well. The time has finally come. I have finally decided to do a tutorial on how to get Glamrock Fredrina, Glamrock Chiku, Toy Fredrina, Toy Bonita, whoever the hell you want, whatever textures you get. In this tutorial, I will be showing you exactly how to retexture any FNIA ragdoll. But first, you will need a few things. A program and some other stuff. First, you need an app called VTF Edit. This will come in handy later. You need an add-on called Extended Spawn Menu. Credit to this guy, Moonify, for all the Glamrock textures and toy textures. I'll have this link in the description, which leads to the materials. Just You have to select all three of these, and then press these three dots and press Download. And then when they download, you will get all of these textures. I have to blur a few of these because they're sussy shows. But you get Glamrock Chica clothes, te clothes, te clothes textures, the textures of her skin, Glamrock Fredrina. You get Roxena, Springtrap. Ina, whatever the hell, Toy Fredrina, uh, Jacko Bonita, you get a bunch of textures, Leftina even. Then, you have to go over to Steam, you go over to Gary's Mod, and you have to right-click, uh, Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then in here, you have to go Gary's Mod, and then scroll down to, uh, Materials, and then in this file, you might have a bunch of other files, but just ignore that. As you can see, I already have a file, but you're supposed to right-click, press New, and then folder and make a new folder for the textures that you're gonna be installing or whatever and here is where the vtf edit app comes in if this is your first time using this app you are probably extremely confused right now but it's pretty simple you have to go over to the left top corner and plus press file scroll down to import and press import so here is where you select whatever image you want to turn into a texture i'll be turning this picture of my dog into a texture because i already have all of the fni textures installed i don't want to mess anything up and reinstall them here on this options page make sure everything is set the same as uh, how is it how it is for me and then just press okay oh it's it's a bit big for the program but that's all right <laughs> that doesn't matter so now that you've done this you go over to this uh, file button or whatever and press save and then here you go to the disk where you have G gmod installed press the steam file of it steam apps common gary's mod gary's mod and then you go to materials and then you put that t image via vtf file which you've turned into an image into that new file which i've idiotically deleted so i have to remake as you can see it is saving as a vtf file then just press save all right so now you can close this gary's mod uh, materials and there's my new file just check if it's in there here it is so just open up that editing jerry duck here if there's for some reason a vmt for you as well as a vtf make sure to open the vtf not the vmt now go over up here to tools and press create vmt file and then you can just name it the name of the file you created and then slash and then the name of the image and then put it in the same file as the VTF file now open the VMT file that you just created and you're gonna see a line of code or whatever the hell this is and your brain is probably like your, your blood is probably boiling you don't know what the f is going on you're lost you want to give up you you will never have the glam rock textures but do not worry it is not some complicated gta 5 code it is in the description for you to copy and paste this is the exact code and here where it says custom file path you have to put the name of your file which i don't remember so let me go copy paste it you have to put the name of the custom file you made for the textures then put a slash and then the name of the photo that you are turning into a texture and then after you've done that you can and go ahead and press the save button. All right, we're back in Gmod now, boys. We got the textures all set up nice and cool. And now this is where the extended spawn menu add-on comes into play. So when you go over to the spawn menu, over here you can see these two new buttons. And you want to go ahead and press Browse Materials, Games, and then press the plus next to Gary's Mod. And here you will find all of the material files you have. Here's my FNIA files. Um, I can't show them because... Uh, YouTube will ban me if I don't blur the sussy. And here is my new custom folder, which is where I have the material of my dog. Let's put it... Okay, I can't put it on the camera. God dang it. Hello, and it is me, once again, editing Jerry Doc, and I'm here to tell you that if, instead of your texture, it's like the purple missing texture thing in TF2 and Gmod, that means you did something wrong, and you have to restart the video, redo everything, keep going until you figure out what you did wrong. There's, there's, uh, there's several things you could have done wrong, so... I can't really help you with that. How about our good old pal, Golden Freddy? And boop. And as you can see, <laughs> Golden Freddy is now my f***ing 
fucking dog. But it's not over yet. Just keep watching for like a few more seconds or something. I don't know. I have to show you a little something. I forgot to tell you that you also need another add-on, which is the sub material tool. Most people have this tool, which is why I probably forgot to tell you about it. But um, why am I... Why am I not in the camera? What I was gonna say is, um, let's spawn, for example, uh, Foxina. Sure, I meant to spawn for Drina. All right, so right here we have Foxina. If we go ahead and press on my dog and we go to retexture Foxina, as you can see, it doesn't work. She entirely becomes my dog. Now, now don't quit on retexturing. It's not some complicated shit in Blender or SFM. You just have to use the sub material tool. Now, what I do is I'll duplicate Foxina like a couple of times, and on one Foxina, I'll hold. On. on one Foxina, I'll put the textures of, like, clothes, and on the other Foxina, let's say these are the textures of skin, but they're not actually because I don't want to get, you know, banned. Then I go up to them with the submaterial tool, and it shows me right here, and press Control r to copy them, and I paste them over Foxina's clothes textures. There you go, you see that? And then I go over to this girl, and I get her her clothes textures, and then uh, I'm gonna have to blur this bit because of, you know, the sus, and I put them over Foxina's skin texture, and now I have some, like, demon Foxina with rocks, rock sans clothes. It's it's a weird creation I have made. But hopefully now you understand retexturing and you can stop begging me for the textures in the comments. They are in the description. The FNIA, Glamrox, Toys, whatever textures I mean. Just have at it. Hold on, how do I grab the camera? I, I can't grab the... Bye! Uh, what what the f also this type of retexturing doesn't only work on the FNIA ragdolls It works on all sorts of ragdolls so you can retexture Freddy if you want make him I don't know blue Freddy you can retexture Gordon Freeman you can do whatever the hell you want with the sub material tool and this tutorial you can make all sorts of textures just I don't know, make a turtle texture. Just basically, what I'm trying to say is, it's not only for FNIA, it works on all ragdolls. If you didn't understand something in the tutorial, just comment down below and I'll try to help you, even though my explaining is very bad. But yeah, that's it. Please subscribe. <sighs> what? Wait, why, why are you still here? You, you're, you're not meant to be here. Get, dude, get out of here. Hello? Why are you still here? Get out of here. I, I can literally hear you and smell you. Get out of here. Well, I mean, if, if you're still here, subscribe if you haven't. Or something. Ooh, watch me kill this girl. Ooh, that was a sick kill. What an easy kill. No, what do you mean I'm trying to get the video to eight minutes? Nah, what do you mean? That's totally not what's happening. Uh, what's... Uh, 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 yeah, some sick gameplay, guys, right? Why are you still here? Leave, dude. Nothing's gonna happen in the next five seconds. It's just gonna end. You're wasting your time.